This is the Canadian version of the Peg Perego Primo Viaggio convertible. 5 to 45 pounds rear facing, 25 to 60 pound forward facing. This is the leather trimmed version that has the standard anti-rebound bar for Canada to meet the 2012 standards. That feature will not initially be on the USA version but may appear as an option in the future for the United States. It's a very nice seat. Um, it has a very high rear facing weight limit of 45 pounds but it is not a particularly tall seat and has a relatively short height limit uh, that the manual specifies is 30, 35, inches 35 inches height limit. We max. believe that is because the head restraint is not reinforced and there's probably a height limit that is the top of the shell even though the manual did not call that out clearly so hopefully we'll get some clarification on that. Here's a cutaway version showing the energy absorbing foam throughout the torso and the head restraint section. Very impressive. Keisha will show us one of the innovative features. If you can see under the seat. There is a block of EPP, expanded polypropylene foam, um, which when the, there is tension on the harness, presumably during a crash, that this deforms and absorbs some of the energy before it is transferred to the child. So very clever energy management system for the harness. There are premium latch connectors with adjusters on each side. So another great feature. And here is the licorice leather trim version. This is the USA model. 5 to 45 pounds and 22 to 70 pounds for the United States. And yes. I will show you the top harness height. We measured the top harness height to be 17 and a half. 17 and a half inches Minus for forward this facing. Minus very padded insert. That's With a very, nice comfort insert. Yeah, that's considerably padded. So with that removed, it's 17 and a half inches. And I'll just pivot this to the side so you can sort of see how much it extends above the main shell. The Peg Perego Primo Viaggio SIP 570 convertible at carseatblog.com.